Figure 1. Using your brush and the black foundation, paint the general location of your eye sockets, the nose hole, the black hollow of the cheekbones, and the line that will become the center line between the teeth. Realize that the locations of these areas will differ from face to face. Simply follow the bones of your face, or that of your subject, as you paint these beginning outlines. Figure 2. Using a latex sponge wedge, wipe across the surface of the bleached bone foundation to load the sponge with the cream-based makeup. Once properly loaded, the sponge is used to apply the foundation to the areas of the face as shown. As shown in the figure, bleached bone is applied outside all of the areas surrounded with black in Figure 1. Figure 3. Apply black foundation with a brush to the eye area as shown. Take great care when applying makeup near the eyes. Also use the brush to paint your nasal area. The tooth lines can be created by either the brush or the black liner pencil at this time. Use a sponge to apply black foundation to the neck region. Use your fingertip to lightly dab black and or blithe spirit foundation into hollow areas requiring shading, such as the temples, the middle of the forehead, and the area below the lower lip. Lightly blend these hollow shaded regions until the look in figure 3 is achieved. Figure 4. Using the white foundation on the fingertip, apply highlights to the bony parts of the head. This includes the forehead just above the brow, the very upper forehead, the cheekbones, the end of the chin, and the area just above and to the inside of the temples. Blend these highlights into their surrounding areas to achieve the look indicated. Finally, use a cleaned brush and apply the white foundation to the teeth between the lines you painted in the black earlier. Once the blending is complete, it's time to powder. When the face is fully set, you will be able to touch the makeup and none will come off onto your finger. Figure 5. Using your brush, paint the red foundation in a pattern of cracks on the forehead as shown. 